السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آن بی ہاف آف مرکز صحابہ دا وائس آف اہل السنہ و جماعہ وی پرزینٹ ٹو یو لیسن نمبر سکسٹین تھرٹی سکس آف اوور ڈیلی نصیحہ این ایڈوائس ٹو ڈے و دا گریس این مرسی آف آل میٹ اللہ جلّہ ولا وی فوکس آن دا الیونتھ آف شوال It was on the 11th of Shawwal, 488 after Hijrah, corresponding to the 14th of October, 1095, Al-Mu'tamid ibn Abbad, one of the most famous leaders of Andalusia. He was a famous leader of Muslim Spain, Andalus, departed from this world. The position he adopted when Alfonso the sixth threatened him and in popularity in the Muslim world. He sought the assistance of the leader of the Murabitin, Yusuf bin Tashfin. He did not fear to lose his power. Rather, he focused on maintaining the prestige of Islam. This led to the Battle of Zalaqa, wherein the French were humiliated and the rule of Islam was revived in Andalus, Muslim Spain. Many a time we just look at our personal benefit, rather look at the benefit of the Ummah and all might Allah will give everyone success and honor rather than our own personal glory which turns into humiliation. Allah protect us. Similarly, on the 11th of Shawwal, the year 569, Nuruddin Zanki, rahimahullah, passed away. He was the son of Imaduddin Zanki. Remember when we go and read Salat and Salam by Habibuna, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, first you see, remember that is the green wall, the fence there, that was by Sultan Qatibai in the year 888 and then inside there is a wall and it was built by this Nuruddin Zanki rahimahullah with lead and steel right round the Mubarak grave covered Mubarak of Habibuna Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the enemies Allah forbid they try to exhume the body the Mubarak just said the Athar of the Master alayhi salatu wa salam this is how all Mati Allah elevated Nuruddin Zanki rahimahullah these were the great people of Islam and we should learn about their history the sunnah for today many a time when our baby is born now today is Wednesday and the baby is born so next week Tuesday is the seventh day so you make akika two goats or two sheep for a boy one goat or one sheep for a girl and then you name the baby officially you give out charity you shave the hair of the baby and after shaving the hair take safran zafran mix it with water and apply light on the head of the baby that is sunnah as well the hadith is mentioned in abu dawood so all this we need to learn and then the dua today people are so worried about their children three duas of the noble quran surah 46 surah chapter 46 surah ahqaf the winding tracks verse 15 15 and they you read wa aslih li fi dhurriyyati ya allah bring about piety reform goodness fi dhurriyyati in my children my progeny Next dua, Surah 14, verse 40. Surah 14, Surah Ibrahim, verse 40, 40. Rabbi j'alni muqeem as-salati wa min dhurriyati. Ya Allah, make me of those who perform salat and establish salat. We encourage others to perform salat. And my children also wa min dhurriyati. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua. Oh, beloved Allah, accept this dua and supplication and petition. And then, Surah 25, Surah Furqan, verse 74. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa dhurriyatina qurrat a'yun. O Allah, grant us as spouses and children that are the coolness of the eyes. Husband looks at wife, there's joy and happiness. Parents look at children, children look at parents. There is peace, there's love, there's harmony and unity of thought. Everybody going in the same direction. May all my 
that Allah make our houses into homes and our homes into Dar as Salaam, the homes of peace, tranquility, and serenity. Ameen. Ya Rabbal Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.